today on DadCraft, something cool has happened. While I was in a villager, villager raid, a bunch of zombies and other things came into my zombie uh, trap here. And sure enough, uh, one of them is a zombie villager. And hold on a sec, I gotta take out this. So here's a zombie villager. This one has to be, I think, a zombie farmer. And what we can do is we can cure him from being a zombie back into a regular villager, but we need some special things. And I have some stuff prepared over here. We'll go over how to make it later, but I have a couple of splash potions of weakness. And I have a golden apple. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit him with a splash potion of weakness, a couple of them. And then I'm gonna feed him a golden apple and then he's gonna start to shake and shiver like he's in trouble. So let's get, get this splash potion of weakness going. Let's do another one. And then let's feed him the golden apple. And now he's going to start having second thoughts about being a zombie. He's trying to get away from this space, but he can't. So he's been affected by, I've also been affected by the splash potion, but I'm gonna take out a couple of zombies here. They're, they're of no consequence. Let's get the XP and healing him. So this poor guy, he is undergoing a little bit of a change of heart. And eventually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release him from this space into uh, the zone back here where I have four chambers with different tools in them. He'll take on a job of uh, whatever chamber I let him into. There'll be a bed in there to attract him. And like a lectern, he'll become a librarian. If it's a, um, uh, a uh, brewing stand, he'll become a cleric. And they'll trade things with you now. Regular townspeople will trade things for you, but it takes like a lot of emeralds or a lot of stuff. If you cure a zombie villager, they'll trade you for much less, real discounted rate. So this is something you probably want to do mid to late in the game. It's how I collected a whole bunch of books and many. We'll do that in a little bit once he gets cured. So there he is, a zombie villager undergoing a change of heart. All right, kind of a rare thing. Um, you know, out of a hundred zombies that spawn in the open spawner area that I have, maybe one will be a villager. You gotta collect him, kinda let him get into this gated area, cure him, and then get him into a safe space. So, there it is. The zombie villagers and uh, how to cure them. So, um, oh, the other thing we'll do is we'll, um, we'll name him. So let's go do that quickly before Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here in our chest, we have some name tags. These we collected uh, from uh, going fishing, of all things. Sometimes you'll get a name tag out. They're a rare item in the game, but you take a name tag and you put it into the anvil, and it's the anvil says repair and name. So we will call this guy, and it only costs one uh, experience level, one enchantment cost, so we'll call him Librarian. Bob, just choosing a name. It doesn't matter if you name them or not, it doesn't cost more. I'm gonna take that out of the anvil. And then I'm gonna go over and I'm going to apply the name tag to the zombie villager so that it doesn't despawn. Uh, and so I name him, you can see above his head here, even through the wall, I can see this is Librarian Bob. So once he gets cured, ooh, hello creeper. Uh, once he gets cured, he'll um, end up being a regular villager. He won't have the zombie coloring anymore. Then I'll let him into the room in the back, and sure enough, then we'll um, turn him into a villager that will trade with us. And so, pretty cool. He's on his way to being cured, but it can take a full day and night cycle. Um, usually, you have to give him three splash potions of weakness and a... 
golden apple. So I'll go over and make some splash potions of weakness now uh, in case we have to redo the potions and the weakness to turn them from a zombie villager into a regular villager. So uh, we'll see how that is. If, um, if he turns, we'll end up bringing out another video and showing you how to get him into uh, a room. I'm going to fortify this area a bit because the Illagers attacked and killed all four of my, of my guys. There he goes, right there. So now he's a regular villager. And even though he's still weak, um, he's been turned from a zombie villager into a villager there while we were waiting. It only took about five minutes, ten minutes. All right. Zombie villagers curing them. Let's see what we do with them next. Have fun playing Minecraft.